Hello everybody, my name is Copix, and as you can see, the background is just a little bit off. Can you tell what is wrong with the background? That's right, I have new lights. But also, <laughs> look at this, this is stupid. So, as you can see, as it's not working, I have decided to create the most ingenious plan. I'm going to take this marker. And I'm going to write something so superfluous. Superfluous? What does that mean? Wait a minute, I need to Google this. Superfluous. Unnecessary. That is no... Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> pretty accurate statement. You can't see it, but it's supposed to say memes. You can kind of see the M over there, but that's about it. I tried. Okay, cool. So, where we left off, for those of you who do not remember, it was me, basically, I've, I've been everywhere. So, all I have left to do is I have to talk to Mama Toriel. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought it might slow. Oh, okay, so I've already been here. So. Um. I'm gonna have to play through this a little bit. I'm going to. Because this is a choice based game. I'm going to go through everything that I did as well as possible. So I'm going to meet you back to wherever I was last time. Okay, we're back. I actually didn't do everything. I just went and got some stuff. But, um, yeah, I was kind of lazy. Anyway, here we are. What is it? When can I go home? What? This... this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure, why not? Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. How do I exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. I wonder if this would be a good time to go into the basement. Remember when we couldn't go to the basement? I remember that. I'm going there now. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! Gotta go home! Don't break stuff! I was told not to. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Asgore will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I understand. But... Do not try to stop me. But I, I gotta get home, though. This is your final warning. I, I just can't. I'm sorry. 
You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh no! Yikes. Fine. If you fight you want. Aw, oh, crap. I already forgot what I'm doing. I'm not good at this. Oh, yikes. I don't like this at all. I'm not good at this. I'm gonna die soon. Item. Um. Bandage. Why not? <laughs> Great. This is going to be a long day. It's a long day. Oh, no, no. What? What is... Oh, no. Pie. I ate the pie. Just running right into him. I'm good at this. Yeah, run right into him. That's nice, fine. I'm a die now. stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore! Do not let Asgore take your soul! His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child. No! a minute for my teary eyes to stop tearing up. I'm a cry just a little bit. Well, that's just sad. But there's
There's no going back now. No going back. Oh no. I just Hee <laughs> hee. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> she couldn't even save herself! What an idiot! Get out of here, nerd. I guess that's not the end of Undertale. I was a little surprised. Th I, like, I thought that this was going to be the end of Undertale, and I was like, really? I guess you're getting two options, then. Can I pick up stick? Oh. Spoopy noises. Where's where it was, I think. It's been smashed like it was nothing. Yeah, I was noticing that. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion. The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Not my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually. I think that's him over there now. I have an idea. Go through his gate thingy. Yeah, go right on through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That is quite convenient. Sup, bro. You know what? Sup, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. What do you want? Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? 
I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Mm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Zans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done lately. A skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I might just sit here. <laughs> Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Wowee. Oh, okay, I already did that. I was curious if it did another one. I'm, uh... Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, that'll be up ahead. I assume you know this a little bit better than I do, so I won't question why you went the other way. Save. Hey look, it's a thing, in a place. This is a box. You can put an item inside the box and take an item out. It's the same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Yeah, sure, why not? Tough glove. I'll take that out. And let me just see what all this tough glove does. Tough glove, weapon at five. Worn pink feathery glove for five fingered folk. So, at, I, pff, attack is five. Uh, what is. I thought I equipped the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, oh, okay, that's, okay. It'll probably show up now. Yeah, I was gonna say. What's the info on this? Attack is three. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use the box. And I'm gonna put the toy knife inside that. The stick is kind of nice to have. It uh, broadens the attack box, as you saw, uh, for a bit. So I kind of like that. No, go away. I'm gonna go this way first. It's a fishing rod. Affixed to the ground. Reeling? Yeah, sure. Attached to the end of a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. <laughs> okay. 
Um, and I'm going to quick save actually now. Yeah, the convenience of that lab does fill me with a bit of a... A little bit of... Oh. Flutters back and forth. Uh, I'll spare you. Better not snow f flake out. La, 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 Z? Since when? Since when? Since when do I press C? I did press C! Okay, so I have to press Z twice then. That's very nice to know, but unfortunately. Oh, I'm gonna just gonna keep pressing Z. It's a, oh, I understand, because it's, it's a punching glove. So I have to punch it. <laughs> wow. Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. I mean, maybe it's just me, but, uh, I'm beginning to think it does a lot of damage. Oh, crap. It's flaking apart. How about I just spare you? Oh, sorry. So, <laughs> excuse me. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Oh my god, is that a human? It's like a Simpsons character. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, was that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular, popular, popular! Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Thanks, mate. Hey. Is your refrigerator running? Okay, I'll send someone over to fix it. Thanks for letting me know. Good communication is important. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't falling for that one, mate. Oh, that was D. Oh, oh crap. Oh, I should probably just stay there. Oops! There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. You could have built this, you ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Is there anything else? Oh, no. Let's, uh, get going. 
absolutely no moving. Well, that kind of puts me in a little bit of a pickle, because you see, I'm not a fan of not moving. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Well, doggo, don't move an inch. It moved. It did not move. I see now. Yeah, I can't seem to find anything. Can I just, uh, spare? Will it move this time? No, it will not move this time. Move this time. <laughs> I feel like... I pet doggo. What? I will pet! No, 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 no. Pet, 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 pet. You have been pet. I don't want to fight you. I kind of, I kind of just want to. I win. Yay. So, something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. Is anyone there? No. <laughs> Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> hey, there's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If he sees a blue... If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easier way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. <laughs> Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Sans, you're my favorite. North Ice, South Ice, West Ice, East, Snowden Town. East, I thought you said Weast. And I A lesser dog appears. I would like to pet. Decided. Oh shoot, what on earth was that? I don't want it. No! No, Dougie, no! I'm glad my love increased, but no, Dougie, no! I'm gonna go the other way. I would like to touch a snowman. Hello, I am Snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. It would be so kind, Traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes, okay, I will. Good, thank you, good luck. I got the snowman piece. Well, if that is just the nicest, You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. 
Excuses, excuses. Oh, ho the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the Cuban has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. I thought maybe I could just walk around it. Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Sans, can you help me out here, buddy? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He wasn't... He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Cool is certainly a word. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's a perfect weather for some cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. Why? Yes. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got some nice cream. Let me just go figure out what this does real quick before I shoot you in the face. Snow. Let's go with some nice cream. He was 15. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. That's nice. Snowman piece. Heals 45. Please take this to the ends of the earth. I will hold on to this. I vow to never use it unless maybe. <laughs> I understand that doesn't really help my situation. I think I'm just going to go around this. Looks like a snowball. Actually... It's a snow decahedron. Wow. A ten-sided snowball. Because, you know, it's a uh, pixelated game. In it. Probably should have just... Anyway, that was a that was a lot of movement. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. You're right. I should charge way more than that. Aha. Uh -huh. Fried snow. A.K.A. Nothing. Because you would think maybe water, but it's not water. Because if you fry snow, it would just evaporate. So... No. His? Because smell danger rating? I mean, smell danger rating! Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Uh, 
Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue writing. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans green rating. Destroy all destroy it just bleh, destroy at all costs. These haven't changed. Can I find out what's going on here? Sam? So then, is it just this way then? Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. You go this way. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there. On the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. They didn't even look at it. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. Well, really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Uh, unbelievable. Human. Solve this dispute. Which is harder, jumble or crossword? Crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. Just fill in the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Papyrus finds it difficult in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. The horoscope? The horoscope. I'm sorry, all of you. I apologize profusely. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's cold. It's stuck to the table. Wowee. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Don't touch my spaghetti. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed against, but... What? Thoroughly japed again by... The Great Papyrus. I don't know what japed means. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, papyrus. I guess I'm just gonna have to use context clues. Knowing the mouse might one day try to find to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Let's save. I'm gonna go to the spaghetti hole. Squeakers. Morning, dog marriage. Thanks for the heads up. Don't want to get involved in that. That looks sh shady. That's what I was going to say. Where's your eye hat? Nowhere. It's snowing dandruff. Heck.
Let's just get all this off of here, see what happens. Okay, sure, that's great and all. There's an X that marks the spot up there, which I think I know where that is. I'll fight. Ice cap. Why fire sucks? Smells like cherry. Sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry, my Wi-Fi isn't the greatest. So, I mean, I guess that the X that marks the spot is over here, where the X is marked. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, Snoopy. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm, that's a weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Elimination you. Doggy assault you. Doug Amy. Can I just, uh... Oh, wait, no, I can't. Heck. Heck, that is not what I like to hear. The reevaluating. Let me act. I'd like to pet. They're too suspicious of my smell. Again, we smell just as weird as before. What is that smell? Yikes. They're reevaluating my smell. Can I roll around? You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Champs is 98. <laughs> to re-smell me? Re-sniff. I smell alright. Smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? How do I survive such a thing? Sickeningly sweet things. I would like it if you re-sniffed.
Okay, I guess I won't leave you out then. Other dogs? A new world has been opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. You're welcome. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Can I just not? Nope. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Um, I, I left it. Really? Wowee! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Yeah, what near yeah sound? Hello. Hi, Papyrus. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy talking care of him. Cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Human. Hmm. Why do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now, the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is... Worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, I feel... F Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll not... I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay, I guess I have to go this way. Would you like to give away the answer? So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all the X's into O's. Should try that. Ask again for more great hints. I see. I turn them all into triangles. How do I undo this? Can I, can I not? Could you not? Okay, that's a reset. Got it. That's not going to work. Ooh, this is a little more difficult than I was thinking it would be. 
Okay, let's try some, um... I just really wanna, I wanna try and figure it out for myself, because I am beach smart. Okay, so I can't go that way. If I went this way, I would start there, go down over, uh, over there, up, over. The thing is, I gotta get out, so I have to leave that way, that way, or that way, or that way. So if I were to start here, go up, down, up, and over. Could probably go around. If that is such a thing. So there's that. There's probably a better way to do it. Wow, you solved it. My advice helped. It really helped you. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. I might even be too easy for you. <laughs> yeah, I pr he probably would have told me how to go, but I was kind of like, eh, I don't know, man. Your job was solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great. Because I love doing absolutely nothing. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Elvis. You see, these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electric you do. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the watcher will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Of course I do. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! If I know what I... If I know this well enough, I think I know what's gonna happen. Yep. <laughs> that. <laughs> I was ready for that. <laughs> Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll be, he'll even make something edible. <laughs> the machine isn't working. Wow. Aware of dog. Please. Pet dog. Please. On the floor inside is a box of palmer raisins. Okie dokie. Snow can always be broken down and rebuilt into something more useful. 
This simple fact fills you with determination. And I will save. Which means that this is where I'm going to stop this episode. Ugh, excuse me for I'm just stretching. This is where I'm going to end this episode. Because it's going to be a while before another star, another save point. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I like this. You know, these puzzles are fun. Like papyrus. And of course, there's sands over there. You just don't care about nothing. So, so I'm excited to keep playing more. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out, everybody.